Hello, in this presentation I will talk about different robot manipulator types used in many industrial applications. The aims of the presentation are to know the different robot types used in industrial applications as well as to understand the difference between robots using open and closed kinematic chains, also the differences between serial and parallel structures. Finally, we will focus on describing the main characteristics of if each robot type. A robot manipulator is a mechanical structure made up of links and joints with an end effector that can be controlled. Robot manipulators have a tool for a wide spectrum of manipulation operations. The maximum number of degrees of freedom for the end effector is 6. Three variables corresponding to the position, x, y and z, and three of them corresponding to the orientations. But some robots have redundancy, which implies that they can accomplish the same task. In multiple ways. The main advantage of a robot offers compared to traditional automated manufacturing processes using specialized machines is that robots are flexible. They can be adapted to many situations. For these reasons, they can be used to solve many industrial problems. There are two types of kinematic structures. Close, open and close. We will also distinguish between serial and parallel kinematics. Open or serial kinematic change is due to its topological configuration and it's based on a set of or a, a set of links and, and joints um, in series. They can be open or close. The difference is that uh, in, in close uh, serial configurations the connectivity degree is two for all the uh, links, while for open um, serial uh, configurations, the connectivity degree is two, but the base and the end effector. Also, in order to distinguish between serial and parallel robots, we have to study such the degree of connectivity. And in the case that if any link has a degree of connectivity of three or higher, then we will say that it's a parallel robot. But this is something we will talk later, okay? The, now I would like to focus on the advantages of uh, a, robot, a parallel robot compared to the uh, serial robot. The, the main advantage is that the robot's load distribution is better and they tend to reach higher speeds and accelerations and also have greater rigidity and accuracy. Obviously, they have some disadvantages for instance, the kinematics is usually more complex and the workspace is, in general, reduced. As I mentioned before, the degree of connectivity of a link defines the robot structure type. This degree can be computed from the number of links to which it is connected through a joint. In the figures, we can see the case of two robots, one with an open chain and another one with a closed parallel chain. In the case of the open serial open chain, all links have degree of connectivity 2 except the base and the end effector with a degree of 1. In the case of a parallel robot, the base has a connectivity of 3, although this should be not taken into account. The important thing is that the rest of links have different degrees of connectivity 2 or 3 and the end effector in this case has a degree of connectivity of 6. An anthropomorphic robot, or simply robot arm, is a classic robot with an open kinematic change structure. They are one of the most used industrial robots, and their structure resembles of a human arm, which, as you can see, it has a waist, a shoulder, an elbow, as the first three joints for controlling the position of the tool. It also has a wrist with three degrees of freedom to control the orientation of the tool. The SCAR robot, which stands for Selective Compliance Assembly Robot Arm, is a robot used in industrial applications for component insertion. It is in an open kinematic chain robotic arm and has four degrees of freedom, with two parallel axis revolute joints that allow XY control and a prismatic joint for Z, the height. It also has a revolute joint to control the orientation of the end effector and tool. 
The Cartesian robot is a robot formed by three prismatic joints, also in open kinematic chain structure, although in general you can find some supporting rails, but kinematically this is not affecting us. Cartesian robots can control up to a maximum of three degrees of freedom, affecting only to the position of the end effector. The orientation can't be controlled, it's fixed. Its main advantages is that the kinematics or the inverse kinematics indeed are very simple. Uh, a common example in our life uh, day is 3D printers. They have a very similar structure to a Cartesian robot. Some additional obsolete open kinematic chain robots structures can be found too. This is the case of the cylindrical and spherical robots. These type of robots combine revolute and prismatic joints as you can see from the letters or the sequence of letters below the pictures. The parallel robot has, by definition, a closed kinematic change. One of the advantages is that positioning errors are average and do not accumulate as it is the case of serial manipulators. When talking about parallel robots, we can distinguish two types of robots, the Stewart platform and Delta robot. For the first case, six prismatic actuators are used to move the end effector. Joints are spherical joints and these types of platforms can be frequently found in driving or flight simulators, for instance. On the other hand, a delta robot uses three revolute joints to move three parallelogram arm structures attached to an end effector using spherical joints. The parallelogram robot arm structure is a close kinematic serial robot, uh, sorry, a, a, a parallel robot. It has three uh, revolute joints, while the rest of joints are all passive revolute joints. The first two joints are just like the ones we can find in the anthropomorphic arm. In the animation, the robot does not have the first joint, but I believe it's rather quite simple or easy to imagine how this works, since it's the joint that allows you to point towards a specific direction, like the waist of a human being. The third joint is controlled by a four-bar mechanism, while the end effector is part of a parallelogram structure that ensures that it is always horizontal, as you can see. The dual scatter robot is an improvement of the scatter robot that allows avoiding some kinematic singularities. Its kinematics is closed serial chain and uses a four-bar mechanism. It has two revolute joints for XY control and a prismatic joint for the Z control. Classic robotic arms can be redundant robots. Redundancy occurs when the robot has more degrees of freedom than, one, than the ones you need for a specific task. However, we will usually refer to redundant robots to those with seven or even more degrees of freedom. That will allow us to solve tasks up to six degrees of freedom with redundancy. The main advantage of these robots is that multiple configurations can be or can achieve the same position and orientation of the end effector. Therefore, we can use these to, for instance, avoid some singularities, let's say, for joint constraints. The robot is more dexterous to accomplish a specific task because it has more degrees of freedom, actually more, de more degrees of mobility. To finish with, with this presentation, I would like to mention also collaborative robots. These robots are just like any other robotic arm, but they usually include force and torque sensors, as well as harmonic drives and high precision encoders that allow us to detect external forces exerted on each of the joints. This means that the robot can be compliant, that is, that can yield in their effort to accomplish a given task which will allow us to interact with them, since they are known as safe robots. The impedance of the robot end effector can be controlled, which means that in some directions the robot may be stiff, or in other directions may be very compliant. One of the main advantages offered by this type of robots that is that they can be used to learn tasks from human demonstrations. In this presentation, I have explained several 
types of robot manipulators used in industrial applications and I have analyzed their main characteristics. Thank you very much.